Hey guys, uh, welcome back. You're looking again at the uh, screen right now of the software for the uh, DATS uh, V2 audio test system by uh, Dayton Audio. I bought this uh, many years ago. I've only used it on a few occasions. I uh, just recently used it on the uh, Philco 41280 um, speaker rebuild that I did. But uh, anyway, um, you're looking here in the picture and picture again at that little 6 inch uh, electromagnetic dynamic speaker. And uh, let's do some testing on it real quick. So um, what I'm going to do, I've got the uh, fuel coil uh, ready to be energized. I'm going to bring it up to about 60 milliamps using my uh, high voltage uh, power supply. Uh, but before we do so, let's go ahead and do a measure free air parameter test. You may have heard that. Again, I've energized this uh, pole piece here in just the last little bit. Um, so again, you can see your phase angle here with the red. And the uh, blue indicates the impedance of the uh, speaker. And of course, it will go high as you go high in frequency. So um, let me uh, flip on the switch over here. We can keep an eye on the uh, meter here, the DC amps. Again, I'm going to try to uh, get it somewhere around 60 milliamps or so, plus or minus a few. Okay, close enough there at um, 60, 61. So let's uh, repeat the uh, measure free air parameters. And you can hear now with the um, center pole piece being magnetized by the fuel coil. The audio itself is louder, plus you'll start to see these parameters pop in over here, and we'll go through those in just a bit. Um, anyway, you can see the response here of the uh, speaker. So again, the impedance starts out really low, and then it appears that the uh, this particular speaker is resonant at uh, 190.4 hertz. Thus, you see this big, big peak, and there's a big phase angle change as well. So if we were to hook this up to an audio generator, as the speaker sits right now. Again, it's not in free air. It's actually just sitting here on my desktop or workbench. Um, but you got this big, big peak here. And you can see the impedance itself at that particular frequency is well over uh, 12 ohms. So a big, big peak there. All right, if you go back over here, let me just run the test one more time. Okay, let's take a look at these parameters here. Again, the uh, DC resistance of the uh, voice coil, 3.4 ohms. Again, we talked about the uh, speaker being resident um, at 190 hertz. You can see that big spike there on the screen. In the uh, QTS, uh, we'll come back to that as the total Q. Um, but you got the mechanical Q, LMS at 10.45. That's the uh, suspension of the, uh, the speakers. That's the surround itself um, here in this area as well as the spider. So it seems like it's uh, having to work hard. Again, it's not in free space. So maybe I'm putting pressure on the uh, surround in this area. There's just not enough airflow. It's causing this number to be extremely high. And the uh, QES is the electrical properties. Again, it's high as well at three. I think both of these parameters should be under one or so. And the uh, total QTS should be under one. So um, again, you can tell this is an old speaker. Who knows? Uh, there were probably no QTS done back in the day when these were created. Um, it'd be nice to find a brand new old stock and uh, do some testing just to see where we're at. But uh, thought I'd share that with you guys. Hopefully, you found it um, helpful, insightful. Um, it's interesting to see this big, big peak here. Um, once you energize the uh, fuel coil, because um, here you're approaching almost uh, 14 ohms of uh, impedance, not DC resistance. So uh, quite interesting to see the big difference there. So uh, for those out there that just multiply the uh, DC resistance, you know, times 1.25 or 1.50, uh, you can find that it's somewhat accurate, but uh, again, you may get some of these peaks. Again, big phase angle change, and if we were to hook this up to an audio generator, 
most likely we would uh, hear some strange things here around that frequency and it should get uh, extremely loud and then drop back off. So, um, alright folks, thanks for uh, watching this. Uh, more to come on the uh, Zenith 5S29 in a uh, future video. Until then, take care.